device faster and more responsive. And because we want these changes to be available to the full range of our customers, iOS 12 will be available on all the same devices as iOS 11. This is the largest base ever supported by an Apple release. And we're focusing our efforts especially on the oldest devices. And while it's still early days, we're really pleased with some of the results we're seeing. And so I'd like to share some with you. And I'm gonna use an example of a popular phone from a few years ago. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. Now on that device, iOS 12 delivers a number of improvements across common operations. You'll see that apps launch up to 40% faster. The keyboard can come up up to 50% faster, and you can slide to take a photo at up to 70% faster. Now, our deepest focus this year is optimizing the system when it's under load, and that's where you need performance the most and where iOS 12 really shines. Now, we put iOS 12 through our stress test and we saw in those conditions, ShareSheet coming up twice as fast and apps launching twice as fast. These are big, big improvements. Now, this took changes, thank you very much. This took improvements in many, many places in the system, and I wanna highlight just one, and it starts with the silicon. You know, our tight collaboration with our tip te chip team has enabled us to optimize iOS across the full range of our A-series silicon. Now, CPUs traditionally respond to increased demand for performance by slowly ramping up their clock speed. Well, now in iOS 12, we're much smarter. When we detect that you need a burst of performance, like when you begin scrolling or launching an app, we ramp up uh, processor performance instantly to its highest states, delivering high performance, and then ramp it down just as fast to preserve battery life. Now, these are just some of the improvements that are coming to not just our older devices, but the full range of devices. And that's a quick update on performance. Now, if this is all we've done in iOS 12, I think it would be a great release. But we've done more, much more. And we have a lot to cover today. And it starts with augmented reality. You know, yeah. Now, AR is transformational technology. By bringing experiences into the real world, it enables all kinds of new experiences, changing the way we have fun and the way we work. And in iOS 12, we wanted to make an easy way to experience AR across the system. And to do that, we got together with some of the greatest minds in 3D at Pixar. And together, we created a new file format for AR. It's called USDZ, and it's a compact single file